Well, there's no time like the present. It's time to weigh and measure myself and to get my full bodied before shot in a bikini. <laughs> Don't make me. No, here's the thing. This is what I've learned. Okay. As much as you hate the fat photos and as much as you probably avoid taking photos, you probably hide behind your kids or you're always at the back of the group or you're always taking the photos. I know that. I've been there, done fat. But you have to get honest because not only is that a horrifying wake-up call, but when you get to goal or even just down the track some, it's really good to look back on these pictures and go, Oh my gosh, I've actually, I've done well. And then, you know, I used to hate my fat photos. Like I was like, oh my God. And now, well, I love them. Not the current fat photos. I'm not really loving those. But, you know, my really, really, really big ones, which you can see on Finding My Mojo. Um, I, I love those. And I, I love showing people and just going, you know, this is what I used to be. And for me, even though right now, you know, I've got to lose 50, 60 pounds, it's not as much as I had to lose the first time. You know, I lost 120 pounds and and it's like that was, it seemed insurmountable and I did it. And, and those photos just remind me that even though I've had a setback now, I haven't gone all the way back. And then really, I mean, it's time to stop because otherwise I will look like that. But that's what I'm saying. You will come to love the photos and you really, really do need them as a record of, of just how well you've done. So, here I go. Shall I weigh in first? Oh my god! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Here goes. I kind of know because I've I've kind of already looked at it, but once more for the camera. Oh, it's not funny. No, it's really not funny. Um. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Considering that um, it was about a month ago that I went, oh, I'm going on a diet. And oh, I'll play some of my videos where I was like, oh, no, now this time I'm really doing it. Because that's what happens. You go, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then you fall off the wagon and then you end up heavier. That's what happens. And uh, particularly for me, like three months ago, I was like 30 pounds lighter. I was like, what the? But, but this is why. And I'll, I'll do another post on this. When you lose weight, if you lose it rapidly and unhealthily and at unhealthy rates, you will put it back on again. You will. You will put it back on again plus 10%. And that's really what happened to me. I went on excess baggage. It was a weight loss competition. Like, I'm sorry. I'll, I mean, I'll do a proper post about it. But it was a race to the scales. So I won it. <laughs> like, duh. Duh. But of course I put it back on, like ridiculous. So this is what I really want to prove with this, is that slow, sustained weight loss really is the way to go. And that, when I did it the first time, I kept it off for years. You know, I was one of the statistics that, that I beat the statistics, I beat the odds. You know, because 90% of people who lose a large amount of weight put it all on and 10% within a year. Okay, so I didn't do that. I kept it off for 10 years. Series of incidents happened, I put it on, and now it's time for me to take it off. So, um, yeah, let me do my body fat. Let me do my body fat. Let me have a look. So, and here's the thing, you can't get attached to the number. You just, it just is a number. It's the starting point, okay? So, I'm... A hundred and seventy hold on. I'm a hundred and seventy a hundred and seventy. I wish I was a hundred and seventy. I'm a hundred and ninety seven point five pounds. My BMI is morbidly obese, thirty six point three. Uh my body fat is 39.5%. And yeah, that's not great. Um, <laughs> not by a long shot. Um, but 
like I said, it's a start. Okay, so it's just a number. And I've got to say that 200 mark is looming very, very, very close. And God forbid I should wake up at one day and go, I'm 200 pounds. I mean, it's ridiculous. So, time for change. Measurements, really, really important. Really important. Okay, so I'm 43 inches around the bust. Waist, I'm doing for my belly button. There's my belly button. It's really important to, to know the, the places where you're measuring, to remember them so that they can remain the same because otherwise you'll have a setback that, that it, you know, is not worth it. So that's uh, 40 and a half inches, 40 and a half inches, 40, uh, let's say 40 inches around the waist. Now, hip, I do three fingers down from the belly button. This is a really easy measurement to make sure that you always measure the same place. Because that's 43 inches around the waist. I like to do neck, because you'd be amazed how much weight you lose around the neck. It's like really quite fun. And that's 14 inches around the neck. And... Um, I also like to do bicep, so you do halfway between, so you measure, mark, and go around, and thigh, and my thighs are like always my worst, my worst area to do. So, um, I want to lose 50 pounds, I guess, maybe a bit more. Um, I'm only five foot one, so I could technically probably be about 130 pounds. But for me, you know, it's not really a number on a scale that I'm going for, I'm really going for health and fitness and uh, a change in lifestyle. So, uh, start with a bang, not a whimper.